So today I'm going to talk about um, what I call contracted integers. Now that, that means the addition of any number um, 1 to 9. Um, so plus 1s, plus 2s, plus 3s, plus 4s, plus etc. 4s um, and 5s are particularly important as they appear in the uh, in the uh, low show and um, the, the contracted integers here you can see one in one and eight, two to seven, four to fives, three to sixes, um, which all produce nines. And you can see here the well and the bow, bow gower. Um, the well has a central nine, and the bow gower is empty in the middle. But they still give the same opposites. So the opposites fit into trigrams in that order and uh, I've already shown how that order is achieved and um, when they're doubled or squared they give us uh, the 8 times 8 hexagrams 64 hexagrams now um, the contracted integers also, also fit into what are now called Solfeggio terms which is going to form the main discussion today and again that's all to do with the um, 8 spokes or the, the 3 times 3 magic square which we see in the well Bagawa and in the low show now, now here we have the low show uh, and if we take it as an 8 spoke we will see that, that all of the numbers occur in different solfeggio tones and we can start with 1 to 8 so 1 2 3 1 plus 8 9 plus 8 so, on. so you get both those values and when they're all added together we get these these numbers uh, and this is the one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is when they fitted in, into sequences of, of um, plus fives uh, and you can see that the, the five is a central value uh, and each each one of the numbers uh, adds up to one 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 zero. Now we see in the one to eight, each of them gives a value which adds up to to ninety nine. So um, the base of plus ones is twelve, and the plus eights is is eighty seven. So and these figures are, are all symmetrically placed. You can add them up in all, all sorts of directions. Um, plus, they will give um, sequences of threes, sixes, and nines. Now, the eight, eight, eight spoke of the uh, low show um, with the five centre. It gives you the list of plus fives in one to eight, two to seven, three to six, and four to five. So that's all nines. And and the actual values that each one of those gives you, which is like one 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 two two two, three three three, down to nine nine nine, is always plus nines because if you add nine to any number, it always gives you the same number. It, it it's a repetitive. So uh, uh, adding nines to ones gives you a repetition of ones. So in the the, the so-called solfeggio tones, um, there is some of them or uh, anomalies um, which seem to appear uh, as also. Um, 
when you um, come to 9 and you go back to 1, there seems to be an, an anomaly of, of only plus 21. But when, when you put all the figures together, you always get sequences of plus 1, 1, 1, 1. So, now the most interesting ones is, of the values is um, 36 to 63, which are plus 3s and plus 6s. And that's given there and you can see that these naturally give you kind of opposite values which coincide with each other Now, now to get the other values to coincide with each other from, from um, adding them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and you have to convert them to the to fives, plus 5s or plus 4 sequences to, to get rid of the reflective opposites as, as you can see here So they all produce nines, uh, but all all, all pairs um, e equal tens, which is uh, one 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 zero in the plus fives, and all um, one to eight, two to seven, three to sixes, and four to fives give doubling values. That's the same if you just go one two three. Two, three, four. The the outer, outer values will always be double the central value. So, so they're quite simple. Now we can see a list of the way that the the sense the central values are also giving you. Um, the contracted runs. So, so seven gives you five because it's, it's it's fourteen. Five gives you one because it's ten. And again, also it will add together to. Three, six, nines, or six, you know, whichever way you do. Now, I've given you some more other ideas of how to to put them all together here. So the the, the eight spoke wheel is the base. Of all the mass, and the central values are the keys. Um, we can see that, as I said, that the, the well has a central nine because all the pairings in the integers add to nine, and in the Barragawa, which gives you the binary, the, the center is zero, empty. Uh, as the I Ching says, the family sequence of tri trigrams is placed around the central source. Now, from all the other maths that I've talked about, um, the whole of the maths in the I Ching can now be undone, um, I believe, without problem. And um, it, it can be related to many, many other aspects now been mentioned by others on the um, on the web um, so um, all these details are, are on my site I Ching Mass and and you can look at them there 
and and you can look at how each each one of in the eight spoke of the low shoe will give you the plus five indigo runs. Um, I also put in another detail there which was also investigated by Lee Burton and Lee has also put up quite a lot of the work um, related to the, the three times three magic squares and uh, how they relate to other magic squares so um, here we have a whole basis of math which runs in magic squares um, and I'm not really going to go into it other details of other people's work but um, it's it's just for you to investigate for yourselves thank you